Danny and I are, are kind of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu fanatics and, yeah. and I've pretty much been a lifetime martial artist and mm. one of our uh, training partners talked about uh, a Japanese word called Mushin which is basically sort of free mind mm. and it's one of the really big benefits of, of Jiu-Jitsu is when you're on the mats nothing else matters yeah you, you're, mm. you're you know you're just moving and you know there's by the nature of it someone is normally attacking you but, but it's in a <laughs> it's in a it's sort of you know sort of educational friendly controlled way control way mm. And it just allows you to move your body and yeah, just free, yeah. free of thought. And all you're thinking about is the, you, you the can't present. think of anything else. Yeah. That's the mm. issue of it. Is because because yeah. you are grappling and you are there's so, there's so many so many levels to it, and it's so yeah. technical. Yeah, you you have no you have no time to think about anything yeah. else. So that one hour a day, anyone struggling mm. like with any sort of mental health, something like that, mm. I can't emphasize. Like like I said, I've done CrossFit before, mm. and I love CrossFit. But it's not the same mm. as in mm. you cannot, when you do CrossFit, you're still obviously you're knackered and you're going through the motions and you are mm. doing your workout and you are, you know, it does take your mind off it. Yeah. But there's something about Brazilian Jiu Jitsu that, yeah. that goes that extra level for mm. Pete. Like I'm not a very stressful person anyway, like in my, just my nature, I'm just a bit more relaxed and stuff. Um, but even, even me going into Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, it's like, mm. if I do it, I feel amazing all day. Yeah. Yeah, you're amazing yeah. all day and, and i think yeah. there's definitely something to be said as well uh you know we, we we've touched on all this stuff already but you know that that sort of you know talking and, and sharing struggle mm. uh, i think the shared struggle of jiu-jitsu as well mm. oh yeah and you see it a lot in the military yeah, yeah you see it a lot in the military yeah. as well where you you form this bond with people because yeah. of the camaraderie because of the shared struggle the level of trust mm. that you have because people are getting older your neck and you find out what people are made of yeah. that's the big thing it, it, on yeah. the on the mats you'll find out people's personality people, people's personalities yeah you find out what you're made of as well yeah, right. you know yeah. and yeah. and i think through exercise and creating physical yeah. adversity i think that dims down to some extent oh, the amazing. the struggle yeah. of life at times yeah. yeah i'm a big fan of like you guys you know you found those things that get you into that place and i BJJ is not something I've ever got into and martial arts generally I just don't like being punched in the face uh, that's just 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 not my thing Jiu-Jitsu's for I, you then my friend I'd love to try there's, it there's I, no yeah. oh, okay I'm putting in a, a, a choke hold <laughs> whatever it is uh, yeah. <laughs> but I mean th there are uh, I think uh, an intense sport like that um, for me the equivalent would be competitive tennis yeah. uh, I find it it you, you get into the flow state because you're you cannot think about anything other mm. than the thing that you're in. Mm. You're yeah. so into it, and I, I'm I'm quite a competitive person. I I I get really into matches. I, I played he air hockey with this guy. Yeah, yeah. He's, I'm he's exactly the same. Screaming tennis. the place down the the, the yeah, yeah. Head off on top of the vending machine <laughs> yeah, at one yeah. point. What were you yeah. talking about? Like air hockey? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Things yeah, got really out of hand. It yeah. escalated oh, yeah. quickly. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I get really into it, and I'm just. But I that, that when you get into a competitive sports uh, situation, I just find it. It keeps me so sharp. Like mm. uh, um, I'm so energized by it, but also it translates into other areas of your life. I just feel like I can be on my game with other mm. stuff as well because it, it, it trains your brain to focus on that thing and to really commit yourself. And, and so it's, it's more than just well-being. I think it, it, it just sculpts you. It shapes your whole uh, your whole outlook and your whole approach, and the way that you attack the world when you when you do uh, in every uh, domain of your life. Yeah. So I think for anyone, maybe BJJ, maybe tennis, maybe CrossFit, whatever you're into. Find that thing yeah. that gives that gives you that 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 kind of level of intensity, that level of intense engagement, that flow state, because it, it really is a, a powerful yeah. tool, isn't it? Yeah, I think that. I think also you've got the, the skills acquisition, so the, the the sort of learning something new as well. I think that really helps, and I think finally the the social component of it yeah, as well. Definitely, yeah. So you're there with people you and naturally on the mats, on the courts, off the courts, whatever. You 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 yeah. chat to people, and I think where men in particular struggle we've talked about this already it's it's about not talking and it's mm. about keeping things bottled up yeah. and i think when you're in isolation you're not around other men or like-minded people mm. you're more likely to do that yeah i think when you're around you know people that you've just been through a bit of physical adversity with you're more likely to just open up about certain things yeah you know and i think just having those those passing chats yeah, definitely will, will make a yeah. real impact yeah. i think on yeah. a lot of people crossfit yeah. has a fantastic yeah. community yeah mm. crossfit has probably jiu-jitsu is pretty good as well yeah i think it's very similar in regard uh, to that yeah. social mm. component too. It, yeah. it becomes like a bit of a bit of a cult doesn't yeah. it but yeah. from the outside in from the mm. outside in you know you see all the 
mm. people in the geese and you think a bit weird. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, the same with CrossFit, yeah. you know. Yeah, but exactly. I, again, your your CrossFit gym, I imagine you go to the same one. It's, it's a it, it, it's a box. Yeah, a box. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You go to the same box. Yeah, no, that's what they call it's it. It's just an yeah. example of the whole lexicon is different. There's all no, this yeah, kind they call of it a box. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> but same with BJJ, there'll be loads of like little. In I don't, don't want to call it a box because people wouldn't know what I was on about. But yeah, I can't bring myself to sex. It just sounds so wanky. No, but it is. I hate that kind of term. But it is a box, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. But again, these things kind of I think from the outside when you're looking at this stuff you think oh I, I'm not one of them I, how can I be part of this it, it gives it a really kind of cultish kind of feel they are, they are very inclusive people I remember but when yeah I actually across, when you get I beneath that a year and, yeah. and some yeah. of those people like you know you go over the house and train and yeah. we I think again, yeah. you, you form that bond because you're going through str- struggle together yeah yeah. you know it's so extreme at times isn't it some of those workouts especially the open workouts and yeah, yeah, you yeah. do it together and you just you're just, you're just fucked and you're just yeah. knackered yeah. you just don't and and you do you form those bonds with people yeah. that you're struggling with yeah you know I love it when we do a really intense workout and you know the, everyone's because the one thing at CrossFit you're all doing that workout together you're in yeah. your shared space you're, yeah. you're you're sharing that kind yeah. of yeah. pain and you go it's not easier into for the anyone, pain cave do you know what I mean across the board yeah, yeah. but the end of it you know you finish the, the clock stops and you just go around high fiving each other that sense of release and that <laughs> you've you've been through this like BJJ you've shared that that intense yeah. experience mm. together in that yeah. same space it's so like euphoric and mm. and powerful and you know the, the social connection that you get from that it's just it, it yeah it's it's really good it's good from well being and health yeah. yeah it's so good from hobbyist to competitor yeah that's mm. the thing you can go from being a hobbyist yeah and working your way up and and the more you put into it the better you can get yeah. and you can yeah. you know I'm not saying you can make a career out of it but you can yeah. be competitive in it mm. and yeah. then again that for us as blokes yeah. it's quite appealing yeah we need because that. we have the masters and we have like things yeah. like that's what i quite like about brazilian jiu-jitsu as well as crossfit I, in my head i think I'm, I'm 33 now in jiu-jitsu i will only be fighting people in my bracket even when i'm in 45 50 mm, does that make yeah. sense so yeah, yeah, yeah. my journey will always be against people that are the same sort of age yeah. and weight and all that type of stuff which is appealing because again i come from football i played football for a long time mm. by the time you're 30 you're virtually done you know, 35, yeah, you are done. Yeah, Does yeah. that make sense? So it's, like, it, you like rugby, it's not a sport for life. Exactly. Yeah. Whereas I quite like CrossFit, Jiu Jitsu, mm. stuff like that, where mm. we can do that after our football careers. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like mm. after we've played football up until we're 30, you know, but, uh, men get a little bit lost. I felt a little bit lost. That's why I tried CrossFit and, yeah. and now I'm into Jiu Jitsu, jiu- jiu- but it's one of those ones where if I didn't find that, even now I'd still go gym and yeah. I like going gym and I like lifting weights, but it's not the same. Mm. it's not the same it's quite a lonely thing if yeah. you get into bodybuilding if you're into powerlifting yeah. all that type yeah. of stuff is is great for you and it's fantastic yeah, yeah. but it's not the same impact on your life <laughs>